Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy is Bunny. Welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and... Sex, sex, sex. And today we're going to talk about Bunny's most favorite subject in the whole wide world. Sex, sex, sex. Yes. We're going to talk about the rarity of truly high sex drive girls. Yes. They're out there. There's not a lot of them. That's true. You know? That's true. And we're going to talk about why... What, how they differ from just sex positive girls that they can't be created, and generally trying to find somebody that has your sex, you know, has a similar sex drive as you, or um, as compatible as a girl can be. Yeah, I do think that it matters to if you're a high sex drive guy, you can't have a a drab. You can't have a low sex sexual, drive girl. Yeah, you will be frustrated for the next thirty we'll or forty come. years. Yeah, but yeah, we'll come back on that. Okay, so. The identifying characteristics of high sex drive girls, like, and I wrote this probably two years ago, naked most of the day, always sweat, no holes barred, never tires, never needs a break, never says no, lingerie daily, heels every day, no (laughs) panties, picks up girls with you, bisexual, not bi-curious, can't put the dick down, lots of pics (laughs) and vids. And what are the other tells? What did you say? You said constant sexual innuendo verbal teasing. Yes. It's always on her mind. Yeah. Ready to play even if she's sick, has a headache, exhausted. Yeah. There's really no... She it, literally, even if even if she doesn't necessarily instigate, if she's like feeling exhausted, she's not going to say no. Exactly. Um, offended if days go between sex <laughs> and playing count. Yeah. She truly becomes... Just like guys. I mean, most guys will become visibly aggravated, you know, if enough time. And girl, and high sex drive girls will do this. They they can't hibernate. And no short term. It's in their wiring. We're going to talk about the hard wiring of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know. Um, and then earlier today, you know, I had mentioned, like, the bisexuality, um, not just bi-curious, and a couple of other factors. Just kind of reinforcing what what goes on well you by know. curious girls will kiss other girls it's they may the kind of you know paw at each other but a lot of that is as much for the show of it than their actual sexual and sexual drive yeah and the attention yeah that's what yeah. i'm saying yeah. it's for the show of it yeah and truly bisexual girls are in it to win it yeah you know they can well, go both ways well and i've talked about that even in watching you know girl on girl like pornographic kind of stuff you can tell when it's a genuine like sexual desire versus when it's because the camera's on it's a lot it's just a different energy and so let's talk about the difference between normal sex positive girls and high sex drive girls yeah normal girls because i think sometimes guys mistake yeah a normal girl for a high sex drive girl Because she's sex positive. Well, and because, I mean, we've had a lot of, um, we've had a lot of, like, comments over the years similar to, well, I had a sex, I had a sex, hi, libido girl, Uh, we had sex all weekend, you know, and, but that was all. Yes. That's that's sex positive. Yes. And that's normal. Yes. And girls can usually keep it, and it's, it's a natural response. I don't even think girls... A lot of them don't even realize they're doing it. No. That first 12 so. weeks, they can keep the tempo high yeah. to lock you in. Lock you in. And then after that, there's going to be a lot of like, I'm tired. Uh-huh. Um, they'll, 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 I guess, actively and quietly avoid it. Yes. Like, they just That's don't a come good over. way to put it. They just don't come over. Actively and quietly avoid yeah, it. Yeah, they just don't come over. Or they just don't dress as scantily. They don't dress as sensually or yeah. sexually. They, they do things to kind of back away from it exactly. in different ways. And like you said, I don't necessarily think that it's even conscious. conscious. No. I mean, it's kind of like, it kind of shocks me because I've never seen it that much in person. Like the TikToks or the reels where the girls are like in sweats or they're in pajamas and the house is like destroyed. Exactly. I've never seen that a whole lot in person. Right, right. You know, and you're like... It's kind of a way of like killing the excess. Yeah. You know, how sexy, I don't feel, you hear this from the girls, I'm sure. 
I don't feel sexy. Yeah. Well, no. Well, you're in, you wouldn't feel you're sexy in dressed in sweatpants. Cookie and Monster PJs. You haven't and, showered in three days. No. And there's oh, I, shit everywhere. Yeah. And if, if they bring it up, it's, well, I've got three kids and I've got a, you know. At least you have time cold. to TikTok, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it really does shock me the, the standard of care or, you know, the, yes. how they take care of themselves. But a normal girl can keep the tempo high for a little while. And generally, you know, like if you go on like a three-day weekend. Yeah. You know, I mean, and there's nothing to do but to fuck. Yes. You know. For sure. Or you go, if you go to a resort, you're there for a week, and usually the tempo's high at the beginning of the week. Uh-huh. And then she's kind of like tapering it off. Yeah. So you can. Fuck like porn stars for about a day and a half, and then that's yeah. about it. <laughs> yeah. And if you ever hear like, you know, it's all you ever think about. All that, I mean, of course, these are shit tests. Yeah. But. That gives you an indication she's very she's very much a normal girl. Yeah, if she's complaining because it's always on your mind, yeah. that's a normal girl. That's then. a normal girl. That's not a high libido. You can't even really get mad at her for it. Yeah. It is a shit test too. Well of yeah. course I am. Of course of I course. am. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, duh. And and you know, you keep that frame, you know, she, they don't want you wandering off. That's no. the best thing about, you know, knowing game. But the the deal is is that normal girls can maintain a high tempo for a little while. Then they back off. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, and even their habits will tend to be like, let's lower the lights. Let's don't look at me. Yeah, you know, sure. I, I don't like being folded up. Yeah. And, you know. That's true. They Where be in, a in the beginning, position. it's like, it, it's no holds bar a few times. Yeah, exactly. It's, exactly. it's enthusiastic a few times. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, in the, and, on the front end. And that's where, um, even, and I didn't say it on the list too, lots of pics and videos with high sex drive girls. Yeah. Because normal girls, they may even let you shoot the videos and pictures. They don't want to see them. They don't want to see it, and they certainly don't want you to point it out or, or to watch ever it in front aware, of them. Or ever mention it when it's... It's true. Yeah, but a high sex drive girl will want to see it. Yeah. I want to see this. It's hot. And they trade it. I mean, it's just what they do. Yeah. You know, they'll yeah. send you video and exactly. they'll make their own. Yeah. It's they'll all make their own level. for you. They'll let you pick and video. They'll, all of the above. And so, second point is some guys that we talk to, and God bless them, you know, everybody's on a different level or continuum of experience. Yeah. Um, they'll, they say things like, well, I'll just make my own. I'll just make. A high sex drive girl. I'll create her. I'll, I'll create I'll one. fuck her so well that she'll be a high sex drive girl. Exactly. Exactly. We hear that. And what we do know is that high sex drive girls are hardwired. Yeah. This it's isn't more something, biology than anything. You can you can get a girl, you can make her sex positive. Mm-hmm. But a lot of these guys are like, well, yeah, she's like 19 and she's a virgin. And I think I can make her into like a, a real nymph. Well, the fact that she's still a virgin at 19 shows that she doesn't have the hard wiring yeah. for for a high sex drive girl. You know, she wouldn't have made it. You know, the curiosity, the drive would have been there. You know, that's where we've talked about sex positive girls. They usually don't start late. They start about the time everybody else starts, 15, 16. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it's normal. Mm-hmm. They want to experiment when they, you know, when yeah. everything starts hitting. That's um, true. And with with the hard with the hard wiring, you you can't get the no holes barred. High sex drive girls have a low disgust, or I should say, high disgust threshold. Yeah, yeah. Nothing throws them off, and nothing throws them off even outside of the bedroom. Generally, yeah, you know? that's true. Um, and so, things that would normally throw and girls, normal girls, do not want to talk about sex outside of the bedroom and i would say that's a huge tell of whether she's truly high sex drive versus um versus normal normal or you know sex positive it's is how readily she discusses it outside of the outside of a sexual environment exactly exactly and then just the disgust threshold of like normal girls when they're turned on can you know, cum doesn't bother them as much. They don't care where you land. You know, um, doing anal. These sorts of things that might be a little bit off the beaten track. They are kind of, they can do it under the right... Usually alcohol has to be involved. Yes. But with a high sex drive girl, all they need is an opportunity. Sure. And they think nothing of it. And it's just, just like vaginal sex or just like oral sex. 
it does one doesn't carry any more weight than the others generally. Yeah. They just kind of all balance out. Sure. Um, and they're physically able to do it. You know? And I think that that's a huge factor as far as the biology of high high libido, high sex drive girls, is that those of us who are have a biology that allows us to orgasm more easily. Very easy. Or at least have, maybe it's that disgust factor being lower or or just the allowance of pleasure to be higher to where we, we just orgasm more easily and more multitudinous. Again, it's a hard wiring. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I'm talking about is the biology. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, so therefore, the more sex we have, the more sex we want because we we're truly continue. enjoying it. You know, and it's easy to enjoy. Yeah, it's easy to enjoy because of the biology. So yeah. we really are. It really is a genetic difference. It's just a tweak in our yeah, wiring. Yeah, it's slightly over. I mean, like a lot of girls, they have trouble reaching orgasm, or they have to be in a certain position. Yeah, and they have to close their eyes. I mean, they're not visually stimulated. Yeah, <clears throat> and there's so many have tos. Yeah, whereas. And and they they're one and done, or they might do two or three. Literally, over they'll hour. come and then they need a smoke break. Yeah. And Are with, you done yet? Or yeah. and with high sex drive girls, they start coming faster. Yeah. They tend to come over and over and over. Sure. And they don't fatigue. No. They don't get off the bed. You know. I mean, well, and and that is, I mean, in all fairness, for our sake, it's like we're also fitness people, so. I, I, it does make me wonder if I were like a high libido girl who maybe wasn't a fitness girl, how that yeah, would balance. Yeah. But you never said, okay, I'm done. No. No. No, no. If anything, the further, you, the longer you go, the further the man can last, the the more she comes. I mean, yeah. literally, it just rolls. Literally, the more. It doesn't stop. No. No. <laughs> just wear you out. That's funny. <laughs> but, I mean, we have stories even from um, talking about like, she gets cranky if it's been a while since she's had sex. That's as much because of sexual attention as it is the genetic need, the, the biological need to have sex. Just like what you were saying with that men deal with this. You know, if, if there's something that throws us off kind of our routine, for lack of a better way to say it, that sounds kind of drab, but it's not. I mean, I start getting really antsy. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and even, even when we're in our normal kind of rhythm... You're like, you're day and night. I'm in a good mood before, but I'm in a great mood after sex. Completely different person. Compl- you know. On a bad day, you're a completely different person. You've never left in a bad mood. No. 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 It's, it's, it's the most, it's it's almost like a drug. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's, it's well, that's a good insane. way to put it. Yeah. yeah. And I've never seen it not affect you dramatically. Positively. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're either in a good mood or and then left in a better mood or you're not that much for what and you always have a good reason yeah and then you leave in a better mood but it's usual just like blissful state after sex and i do you know if we're traveling or something gets us off of our rhythm for some reason illness or whatever i get absolutely antsy insane (laughs) Insane. crazy crazy (laughs) cranky cranky i just get a little cranky and so the third point is and you know we're older she's in her 40s i'm in my 50s and what we've seen over time, and talking to friends, talking to other people, mm-hmm. when you're out and about, you need to at least be cognizant of trying to meet or trying to find a girl or a guy um, that has a similar sex drive as you. Yes. Girls generally, they're going to be a little bit less than you. You're mean, you're average. Mm-hmm. But you need to have somebody that can keep up. Right. You know, you take a high sex drive guy and then a low libido girl. Yeah. And you're setting yourself up for frustration and possibly a divorce. Yeah. You know, because it's such a driving force for a high libido libido guy. Yeah. You know, if you're just an average guy and she's got an average drive. Mm Mm-hmm. And the kids show up, which is usually the mood killer. You know, sure. everybody's on, on the same page. Sure. You know, you, you know, nobody's mad about it at the like when the kids are all like under two. Yeah. That things don't happen on a daily basis. You know, I mean, but what we've seen too is like 
once those kids are out of the house, for a lot of these couples that are matched, uh-huh. they get right back in the door. Oh, they've never had better sex yeah. you know, since it's their It's the 20s. real deal. Yeah. But if they're not, he's he's been cheating the whole time, and she's been raising kids, or vice, or she's mad and she's been cheating. You know, <laughs> it's never pretty. So you want to find somebody that can at least match up. Yeah. It's, it's not an absolute deal breaker but it's a big deal it just it makes life easier because (coughs) like we've talked about so many times whenever people are sexually compatible everything else in their lives make is easier you're you can deal with children better you're you're more unioned so that you know you're united you're a united front whenever you're sexually matched and have a strong sexual relationship yeah americans are are notorious for not Talking about sex, I mean, we th- think we do. Yeah. But compared to overseas, you know, it's a very relatively repressed. So there's a lot of strife. Sure. You know, and, sure. They don't, and you always think you're the only person dealing with this, and it's as normal as the sun coming up, you know. And guy, and people don't go seek out therapy. Like, they're, they have high blood pressure and they go to the doctor. Yeah. But their sex life is destroyed, or, you know, it's just trash for a decade and they never check it. And this is the 1000% reason that I designed the Ignite Your Wife 30 day sexual, you know, system. Reset. It's a sexual reset for your relationship and it's it's primarily, you know, based towards married men who have been married for a long time, long-term relationship people, but but relationships that are sexually starved that maybe once weren't, or maybe they've always been, and you just you desperately need to know a last ditch effort to save the things. Because I want you to be happy. I want when you're happy, she's happy. When she's happy, the kids are happy. Everyone in this, everyone benefits whenever you have a, a strong sexual connection and your marriage or your relationship is on solid ground. You're on solid ground when you have a healthy sexual foundation. So that's why I designed that. So link down below if um, you have interest in jumping on the next round of Ignite Your Wife course. It's going to be a great 30-day system. If you guys like this podcast, click the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Yes, we'd love to hear. We love to hear your stories about like girls that you've dealt with that are high libido, low libido, that maybe kind of pretended to be high libido, but we're really just kind of sex positive uh, under the right circumstances. Or if they picked up the pace once you got to know them. Yeah, we'd love to I know. Mean, you, you know, there's always there's always anomalies. There's you great know? nuances, and we like to hear yeah, about them. Yeah, we like to hear about it. And then we, we can, you know, we can share. The yeah. more, you know, the more interaction we have, the better we can relate to what's going on out there. But we really do appreciate you guys listening. Because a lot of guys are like, unless it's like their buddy, yeah. Who's just as lost as anyone else, yeah. you know. You don't ever hear about it. I feel like too many men just kind of tuck their tail between their legs and just go, well, that's just how it is. I'll take what I can get. Yeah. Yeah. That's how And they're the way happy it has with birthday sex and, no. you know, anniversary blowjobs. Nope. That's not, not okay. Not, not on okay. Our watch. We want you to win.